So look at question four. I picked this question is because uh, some students get confused. They look at the question, right? They saw there's two variables there. One is p, one is x, right? And and both have square. And then you confuse what's the coefficient a. You get a confusion. <laughs> if you don't get confusion, it means you're very good at it, right? especially if you're in sec four. You should be very comfortable with solving natural roots. Okay? Some of the sec three when they just join the the usual confusion is they confuse about what is ABC that they need to pick. Alright, they are confused about ABC that they need to pick. Okay, so I'm going to circle um, the important keyword here. Then we know what we're going to do. Okay, so this keyword here, so I'm going to put this one. Okay, we know that we are going to do discriminant less than zero, which you need to pick your ABC out. Okay, so we're going to talk about this. Let's just erase this part. Okay, I'm going to write down the question, then I can explain it to you better. This is the main question. Okay, you know quadratic, you need to move one side. I like to move and arrange at the same time. Okay, so I will focus on what I need to arrange first so I can get the coefficient A. So remember, we are solving for quadratic in X, not quadratic in P. So this is the main one, which I move first, is X squared. The main one I move first. Then followed by the one concept X, which is plus 2PX. And the remaining, all the nonsense remaining is constant C. So put them all together. So we have this part. And this one, then equals to zero. Okay? Let me just underline. I like to arrange in this way. Then you can see, in front here, nothing means A is 1. If you need to write that, you write that, okay? B is... 2p, c is 2p squared plus 2p minus 3, okay? Since the question say no real roots, we're going to do discriminant less than 0. Uh, the common mistake is you need a bracket, huh? because it's the whole thing square, okay? So make sure you do that. So now I explain to you why I don't like to put 1. When you have 3 brackets, I scared this negative, you forgot to distribute inside. It's also a very common mistake because I mark a lot of papers. So you must trust it when I say I see this mistake a lot. They forgot to distribute the negative inside. So I don't want to write the 1 here if it's a 4 times 1. I'm just going to write this bracket here. If you put a 1 here, this negative is very far from here. Very high chance that student forgot about negative. Okay, so a discriminant less than zero. Okay, now we do squaring both. So very important. Okay, expansion. All right. Then minusing like terms. Okay. So there's two things we need to handle. It's up to you. If you're very confident, you can divide by negative 4. But if you don't want, then you handle slowly because we know dividing by negative 4, you need to change sign. I scared you forgot. So if you want, then you handle 1 by 1. You handle negative first, then you handle the 4. So you can change sign first. When you change verse 1, you multiply negative, the sign will be more than 0. Okay, remember that. They like to test that question because they know students will make mistakes. Then you divide by 4. If you can't multitask, this is what you can do step by step. Okay. So we have here, and then we are going to factorize um, quadratic in P. Okay. Right. So we have this one. I'm going to draw uh, the quadratic in P over here. Okay. Now, students are confused that Quadratic in X and quadratic in P, they are different quadratic, okay? You do discriminant, it leads to quadratic in P. Right? So I'm going to sketch this quadratic in P over here to solve the quadratic inequality in P. So I'm going to sketch here. The two roots that we get is 1 and then negative 3. I've turned it to positive, so I'm going to draw this way. We have more than 0, so I need this part and I need this part. Okay, like me, like just now I did a mistake. So you want to be careful, just check this one. So this one means you can't take these two. If you want to draw properly, it's like that way. Yeah, if you want to illustrate, it's a very good thing that you don't take this that way. 
right? So the last answer here, let's just check my answer there. Yeah, this one I write correctly. So it's this. 